What it do? What it do? Ew, well. Oh man. Like I said, the last two days set me back a little bit. I plan to do this uh, test ride on this bike uh, two days ago, but uh, had some family bullshit going. Then I uh, had a funeral all day yesterday. So, starting fresh today, Saturday, Saturday morning. Took this thing for a little test ride. And uh, it didn't have a full charge on it either that day, so had to get the charger to charge this thing up. And now we got a full charge on it, so uh, yeah. Let's go out here and see what this thing can do. As is with the uh, stock controller and that little itty 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 bitty battery that's in there. Cause this itty bitty, all right. That is for sure. But man, I love how lightweight this thing is. Look at, look at that. Look at that, man. I can pick that thing up and throw it around. Just like a regular mountain bike. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm sure, well, Frank is heavy as shit. That, uh, yeah, that's heavier than it too. It might be the same weight as that thing right there. Shit, that might be heavier than that thing, to be honest. That thing is light, man. It's no doubt about it. It is light. But uh, we're gonna see how fast it goes. Let me uh, turn on my GPS app just to uh, make sure I don't uh, I don't know how accurate his speed uh, display is, but uh, for backup, uh, last time I used this thing, it was going 58, so let's reset that. Uh, where's the reset on this screen? Let's just do that. Okay. All right, so we reset the top speed on it. Stick that in my pocket. Nowhere my mount that my phone doesn't fit that mount. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. This thing is it's pretty torquey though. I can tell you that. This throttle has no, uh, <laughs> it's just like off and on what it feels like. Off and on and on at a uh, high power. <laughs> there ain't no in between. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, this thing feels like a, jeez. It feels like a bike. It really does feel like a bike. Oh wow. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. This thing feels super, super fun. It really does. And I tell you what, I just tried his brakes out and I know he doesn't have any regen right now. And this thing is so light. Even the brakes work good. He's got some Magurus on here though, so. Uh, that's uh, another thing. And uh, I think these tires on this bike, uh, they're not like motorcycle tires that most people have on Bombers or Surons or any of those bikes. I think these are actually very lightweight like bike tires they're, they're not thick at all I think I better do this speed test before uh, before I kill this battery I don't think it takes too long to kill this battery 
Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll go uh, down on this normal way. This thing rides nice though. It feels very light and agile. Only thing the throttle is, like I said, it's not, it's just so, uh, how would I say it, it's, uh, ah, shoot, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not a wide range of throttle, I mean, you know, it's not like you have any in between, it's like, <laughs> but uh let's see damn it's a long light too man Let's get some shade where I can see this damn phone. Let's see what the GPS is we can get. <clears throat> 47. 47. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Matter of fact, man, let me tell you something, man. If this thing is going 47, with this little controller right here, and that little battery, I think this thing is going to haul some butt. Maybe we're underestimating this little controller. It may have a nice bit of power to it. It's just, uh, because it's a square wave, it's, it's just not smooth. And uh, the acceleration range isn't uh, really great. I doubt that that's the uh, bravo. That's just probably how it's uh, set up in this particular controller. But uh, yeah, 47. It's a gradual. Uh, gradual speed. But it gets there. Man, this this is I tell you what. For the money. I tell you what, I take this over a Super 73 any day, all day, every day. Yes, I would. Any day, all day, every day. I take this thing over a Super 73. Man, it's so light. See, I wouldn't be scared to jump stuff with this thing. I'm when it comes to trying to do a jump or something with my bike. Yeah, I'm scared. That thing is freaking heavy. It's uh like a big rock, big heavy rock. 
this thing? Man, I play with this thing. I do me a little jump. The rear suspension is awfully tight. I don't know if we can uh, adjust that. And it doesn't have a lot of squishiness to it. But that may be a good thing. I'm pretty sure the suspension on the front of this bike is uh, comparable to uh, BNM forks like what I have or uh, like what's on the Surround. Yep, I'm gonna call that it for this test ride video, man, but I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm very impressed at this little thing. Look at it, man. And when I say how light it is, look at, look, look at this. Look at that. There's no way I can lift the back of my bike up like that. Look at that. Ooh, almost whiskey rattled this thing. thing. Let's turn this to back. Okay, that's the back brake. Look at that, man. This thing. Man, this thing is light. I'm pretty sure this thing. Man, that feels like about 75, 80 pounds to me. Seriously. Let's see. Where we at on this video? Uh, might as well ride this thing on in the video. But uh, yeah, man. I like it. I like it. Money well spent. Money well spent, bro. Man, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that throttle response, I wouldn't change a thing. And the only really bad thing is the battery. Uh, the battery has no uh, range at all. If you look already, we're already down to 78 volts. And um, I know I'm probably gone like two or three miles tops. So yeah, you know, that's the only bad part is the battery it comes with is pretty bad but that's because you couldn't put a big battery in here however batteries don't have to be big if they have really good cells in them. and uh to keep the cost of this bike down they just didn't use a expensive battery pack with this bike you know a good battery pack matter of fact this bike cost about as much as a a good battery so yeah you got a complete bike for the cost of a battery so i mean yeah but if i were to buy this bike man now like i told him i'd buy one of these i'd just buy the frame because that's all i would want is the frame but if you could get this bike without the battery and I don't know what that would do as far as the cost. It probably wouldn't even do much because this battery probably only like a two or three hundred dollar battery, if that. But uh yeah man. Shoot. I think it probably most of the cost of this bike is probably for shipping. <laughs> to be honest. Great bike. I love it, man. Awesome. Thumbs up on that.